everyone this is Vishal and we are on the next session of the day that is called your test driven development and here uh, we have espresso uh, as uh, we work with the many testing phases just we work with your Mokito we work with the J unit in my previous sessions what is the testing pyramid we already discussed about these things and those who are new just go for the playlist of the test driven development and then learn that how we can uh, implement that test in our simple apps so those are only a basic sessions and in my coming sessions we shall do the big app testings also web services testing also so just continue this tour and we learn a lot of things and uh, on the Kotlin side as uh, you know that uh, dagger sessions be going on so on that we will make a small app on the dagger also with the Kotlin and here the test driven development be going on and we have a third phase also that is called react native soon we will start the sessions on that so these be the three areas we are working and uh, those new who just started from the my playlist in YouTube sessions okay and uh, here as we discuss about the testing phase so we just learn what is espresso so use espresso to write concise beautiful and reliable android ui test and espresso is a target that developers who believe that automated testing is an integral part of the dweller so these all be you can uh, take the theory from the espresso side that is android side and you learn that and if you want this talk i will upload for you so here the espresso is an instrumentation testing framework made available by google for the ease of ui testing the theory is just for learn and just for to giving the interview but basic thing is how we can do the practically uh, and achieve this so that's the task okay so here uh, as we already work with the rule we work with the before we work with the test I think so and uh, if you go with uh, on the back series so you can uh, see that we already work with the many things that is called a uh, simple unit test and how we can use this small testing this is the pyramid testing robo electric mokito geounit 4 we already work with the mokito geounit 4 today we work with the espresso and soon we will start the work on the robo electric also so once these basic things be clear to you we can learn the things on our uh, big apps so these all and uh, we shall work with the integral testing in the future so these be the very basic things we already work and already we, we work with the add test so whenever you have the test you just go for the add test so that's we working with the j unit and we have the rules with here and we already discuss about how we can cross check the emails and likewise inputs and uh, we already works with the how you can uh, test the uh, your view models so we lot of things we worked before okay so today we just go for the espresso and here we just work with the six annotations that we know that at test where we have to do testing at before where we initialize the things at before class that is a new thing but uh, I don't want to go here at after that means once it's be done and after class and the most important at rule so these things we have to test the activity will be launched using the rule before test code begins by default rule will be initialized and the activity will be launched so I will describe you practically if you do not use the rule what happened there okay and once your activity be launched and on the start on resume be working then you go for the testing and after the test meeting it is it's, it's be uh, at after be worked okay so these things be we have to learn but the most important thing is here we have a view measures and view actions so we have to go for that area so that means we have a what is the view measures what is the view actions and what is the view assertions so these all we have to learn and we have a some chart but i don't want to go just we have to work with today here what is the mature action and assertion then we go for the rest of the things on my new session in which we learn recycler view on adapter so these kind of testings okay and uh, how we can start it so before start we need a rule 
that is on your implementation i will show you on practically we need some uh, developer option uh, settings i will describe you how to do and espresso on view works be there on uh, performs we work there and on check we work there so these all the stops we have to work so just it is discussion with the practically but just see that what is the view matcher the collection of objects that important to the match that means which kind of id you want to test so that means if you have any text so you can just say what is the id of that if you have edit text you just go for that if you have a button so these all be the matchers and we have to first match that this is inside your ui is be there or not then we go for the actions and once actions be done then we go for the assertions so these all stuffs i will describe you one by one so let us start these things in android studio okay so let us start in android studio so here we have a android test implementation this already be there this espresso and uh, the most important thing is you have to put rules so i already described in my first test rule development that is on j root 4 in which we have worked with the rules okay so here the same thing you have to implement but i will show you again that how the rules part works in this uh espresso okay and here we have an activity in which one text view to edit text and one button and i'm just choosing the button nothing else just for to check the toast otherwise no use of this because of we are doing separate testing image so that means no need of code i just checking the whether this testing be work with that ui or not so that is the important for the espresso so here i am just using the button button just for to check the toast value otherwise no use of this button and this is your button find view by id this is the old approach i'm using at this time because i've just showed to you how in a basic level it works set on click list now and new on click list now and here we have a toast and here we can say this is click so here first we have to go for a test create a new test and this is your main activity test i'm just using before and after i already described you what's the use of before and after in j unit 4 that is the same and you follow that tutorials and here it is okay but you can see that uh, i already find uh, described two discriminations between the simple java test and android test so whenever you work with espresso you need also the android test okay and here it's all done and you have to work with the test in between your before and after so here you can say this is the test and at this time i'm giving this name as in a public void espresso test otherwise you can give the login and other test to whatever you want on that it's on you and this is the exception so here first thing and the foremost things how you can fetch the values so at this time if i want a value of particular text field and here the text field is what's the name uh, it's the name is text value okay and uh, here i'm giving the name it's hello a text value so that is how we can use this so for the first basic thing is you have to go for the espresso dot it should be the own view so that means first you have to go for on view that means on view means that is your ui and it works with the ui and you can say that with id and here with id means which id you want for that so this is your r dot id dot text well i'm using and say so alt enter and this is the all view id so first we need to check that this id be there or not if this is not be in your ui it always gives a fail that means your test fail there but if it is there 
it show to you that yeah it is be there that means test pass so first we have to check all the views whatever be you want you can check one by one you can check all so it depends on you i'm checking one by one i will show to you how we can test these all on view values so here first what we have done we using the view matchers and the collection of objects that implement the matcher interface you can pass one or more of those values and uh, uh, that means on a view so you can fetch that ids so one by one so i will show you how we can fetch the id so here it is test results we pass but the most important task is i do not work with the emulator that means any keyboard work but it automatically we uh, process for us so that's an important and you must test that on your emulators i will show you what is that and never use your keyboards for input values so see here uh, so here we have to do a simple test and here i just copy paste that i'm using the button and in this button that which which toast we are looking for it works there or not so that means it performed the action so that means whenever you can see that we need to perform and perform is always be a click and other things i will show you a lot of things with there double click click so many methods with there you can approach is alt enter and you can see this is the click method so one by one i will describe all these stops first what you have to show that click what is the click so when you run this test on your emulator let's see what happened on the emulator side so this is the process and one more thing i will show you that is how you can uh, change the settings of your emulator for your testing and you just make it free whatever be going on you just never put any values by your keyboard it just be all done by the code of testing in your espresso just wait for that but it show a basic thing that is the test fail why test fail it show me that no activity is found that is the most important thing because of it never found that which activity we have to work for the perform click because of it can check the views only by this on view methods and these things but whenever you have to work with perform action that perform actions be done on your activity so for this the rule is most most important so that means you have to work with this rule so here we can say this is your public and here your activity rule activity test rule and uh, for which class you have to work that means your main activity and give the name this activity test rule that is your new activity test rule and here you have to pass that main activity dot class so that's an important whenever you work with this you need that rule again you have to run that and see what happened with this okay so once everything is fine and then it works or it performs that action to you on your emulator site. So just wait for that and see. So that is important whenever you work with your views and uh, this automatically espresso show to you whenever you work with test fail or test B pass. So now you can see that what happened. now it fetch that activity it find that activity 
and just show to you what is the action be there so this is click I am not using any click be here I am not using mouse I am not using keyboard it just automatically click in emulator by the code this is called your perform click so that is the way you have to work now one more rule I will show to you just type of whenever you put the login and how we can work on that the login so that is the most important part of uh, how we can use, use these values media so I want to do the type test that means automatically the we put the text on that I don't want any keyboard so that means we have to put something inside in your edit text so for that uh, you just go for espresso and here uh, what we have the edit text value username and uh, the second one is user pass okay so these two values we have to put in this user name and here I want to put something in emulator but from the emulator side so for this what we have to do you need a uh, again perform so here we need some action so whenever you have to do some action you need that perform and that is the most important here you work with the perform type text so here we have a perform type text and I want to put something like that Vishal that is an inside and it cross check the things because of here I am using the one side one way approach so I am matching this otherwise when I, when I will show to you how we can work with the retrofit testing so that means whatever we comes from the web view or other web services side you can fetch that values and your type text be match with the test or not you can check that so that means here you can check and that check be your matches and that matches me your I want to with text and that text also be uh, Vishal so that means if it is matches with the text that, that means something be working on that and you can do the alt enter here and the same for your password and this is the password and the same thing I work and but here this is called here user pass nothing else and after that if you want to do something with the click you can check that it is on click be there or not you can cross check the things on the button click and uh, uh, you can check that whether it perform be right or not so that means I will show you on the next phase you just see that how it happened because of at this time the animation be works so I will show you the settings because of in some emulators you have to do this kind of settings that is an important here uh, the process is fast but you want to slow down that process you have to stop the animations of that animation rates on that so I will off all the animation rates just first you check that how it take input so I am uh, that means uh, I am not using at this time any mouse any keyboard but it once it run it perform its action by itself in emulator so we'll see how it works yes so it is little bit fast because of it works with the animation so you can see that this is Vishal Vishal and then click this is click so I am not using any keyboard but it performs its actions by itself by the code of testing you will try on your systems so here if you see that your code is faster and there have been issues with that you can go with the settings and uh, on the settings you can go in your systems emulator systems and you can see the advanced and developer options 
in developer options you just go for uh, animations 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 yeah so you can see that this is your window animation scale of that transi transition animations of that animation duration scale of that so it works well and with the process with the slow process okay so that means once you run that you can see how it works so this is the way you can uh, do that settings within your emulators and once this test or this this uh, these things you have to put on your code so never use your keyboard and mouse it all be done by the emulator and by the code you can check that which kind of process be going on whether the test pass whether the test fail so a lot of things be there so it is it is yeah the process is slow and works well so test is passed and then everything is be okay so this is called a ui testing whenever you have to work one more thing if you want to match that this is a success or not so you can go with this your main activity you just put your values as in a success that means uh, the test we succeed if the nap, uh, names be match okay so here uh, you can go with uh, the same same things you have to use text well and on the text well you can use that uh, dot check and here we can see the assertions so that means whenever you match the things this is called your assertion whenever you click the things so that is your performance that is your actions and whenever you want to the things that is mere you have to find something on the view okay so you can see that this is uh, as view assertion view assert values be there so that means we have to put something for matching so i am using the match matches and that matches be your uh, with text and i want to check that yeah this is your success so the same be done be here okay so if it is failure you can make the other text or you can cross check the things be there so you can see i'm just using run so you can see that here it works with the vishal vishal and on click so this is the way you can work on the espresso testing and uh, uh, on my next sessions we will work with this espresso your adapter your recycler view and a lot of stuff with this espresso we have to cover with the ui faces so um, okay so wind up for the day and uh, you just practice on that and automatically it works with your code this is a performance and your check so one more time i will describe you that what happened be here so whenever you have worked with you first you have to cross check the things with the view matchers that is called your view this text be mapping with that so if it's maps you have things with this uh, view matchers reactions and view assertions so we continue with this tour on my next sessions and we'll uh, do something deep and uh, work on that so wind up thank you so much